ANC branches in Ikurileni hoping to choose a uh, new leadership today, but the region's elective conference has been marred by delays. It all relates, we understand, to the exclusion of some branches. So where are we now at 11 o'clock? Linda Kukle Mulu, let's go back once more again uh, to him. He's covering this for us. Hello to you, Linda. So we spoke uh, just after 9 o'clock this morning, and we were all waiting for 11 o'clock, a bit of a break taken, a bit of a refresher, and now we get back to business, don't we? That's right, uh, Gareth. We are seeing just behind me that some delegates are already returning uh, to that conference center. It is 11 o'clock. Uh, they are expected back at the conference center. And essentially what we do understand is going to be happening because of the delay that was the adoption of the credentials. They will then be moving to uh, try and, 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 and get the nominations out of the way. And while they prepare for, in fact, the voting process, we do understand that, that then there will be uh, the uh, program of uh, actual a, a political report uh, to get a sense really of some of the issues, the challenges that uh, Ekuruleni has faced. But uh, right now you are seeing those visuals where the uh, delegates that are being processed, they are being checked in terms of uh, their accreditation and later on we're expecting that inside any moment now they'll be in fact uh, moving towards the nomination process. Uh, but I can tell you that there has been delays in terms of trying to get these credentials to be adopted. They started at around 11 p.m. last night and they only finished uh, early in this morning and that was when they saw that short a short adjournment uh, to actually go and refresh try to uh, come back here uh, in terms of uh, uh, moving forth with their program but we do understand that uh, the adoption of those credentials did not come without issues we do understand uh, that there are a number of uh, uh, delegates that uh, will be quarantined when it comes to the voting process because there are disputes there that still need to be resolved so uh, that process will also you know be be, 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 be taking place in terms of quarantine some of the votes but also allowing for this process to continue there's still a lot to do in terms of this particular conference in Ekuruleni because we with the, the the delay that was caused by the adoption of those credentials means that there are some programs that might be affected some of those are uh, discussions within the ANC in terms of uh, you know getting a sense of some of the policies discussing issues that are facing the uh, uh, the, 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 the organization in Ekuruleni and we see that there is division in, in fact when it comes to to issues of uh, unity here. Some members, uh, branch members, uh, have been excluded and they have uh, been disqualified. They have expressed their unhappiness. So those discussions would then be looking forward to solving some of those issues that, in fact, the chairperson of the ANC uh, 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 in the province of Gauteng, uh, Makura, did speak about saying that they must, in fact, come together. They must move towards the renewal of uh, the ANC. But with these divisions, uh, those are some of the important discussions that might then be affected by these delays. Uh, but they are moving now. They are going to move to the process of trying to nominate as well as to vote for new leadership amidst some of the problems that remain unresolved. But there is a plan in terms of actually moving forward at this stage. And as far as moving forward, is there an expectation, Lindo, before I say goodbye, uh, that we could get the conference back on track, back on schedule? Or is it now, without a doubt, going to run over and run late? Well, the, when we ask some of the staff that is working here, they're telling us that uh, they are trying to finish the conference uh, today. There is still some time uh, to go, but I can tell you that one of the expectations is that this is going to run, uh, you know, in the late hours of today in terms of finishing this conference. But one of the things that they believe will speed up this process is now getting into the nomination as well as the election. Uh, while they are preparing for the elections, they'll be trying to slot in things like a political report as well as uh, the financial financial report of and the financial state of the ANC in Ekuruleni from the treasurer, Obabu Kagaza, who is also contesting for the chairperson of this particular region. So there are things that they are going to try to do to, 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 to speed up this process. But I can tell you that it will be difficult and some of those programs will be given little time, such as the discussions that still need to be had. Uh, but they are saying that they are aiming to finish today instead of actually having an extension. In fact, that was a directive uh, from the chairperson of the province, David Makura, to say that that they must, in fact, finish with this particular program today, and they must also try to forge a way uh, forward in terms of the renewal of the ANC, the unity, and ensure that uh, they stop the divide that is being seen when it comes to some disgruntled members that are still not satisfied about this program and, and conference continuing without them as they've been disqualified. So there is still a lot to do, but the aim is to finish today.
And uh, just before I leave you for the moment then, Linda, let's just go back uh, to the early hours of uh, this conference when things first started. Our viewers at home seeing at the bottom the provincial chair, of course, we're talking about David Makura, uh, labeling the meeting as a war zone. Why was it considered a war zone? I was seeing reports of furniture even being thrown around. Is that the state of ANC politics in Ukulele? Let me just remind viewers what that all looked like. Well, there were certainly some issues when it comes to those uh, branches that we are talking about that were disqualified. We understand it's about eight branches that were disqualified uh, due to this uh, verification system of the ANC. They were disqualified because they overused, as we understand, the manual logging of some of those uh, members that would be attending the branch meeting. So that is the explanation we are getting, but it's all under this new system of uh, actually uh, you know, making sure that systems of the ANC are followed. Subsequent to that, we did see some members go to Eguruleni in the Boxback Civic Center where registration was taking place for delegates. They disrupted there. There was a bit of a scuffle there. And later on, on that day, in fact, it was a Friday, they then moved towards uh, this conference center. They parked outside and it was just unruly. They were demanding that their issues be sorted before this conference takes place. So after that, we did see that there was a bolstering of security. Private security was, in fact, uh, passed in. We also saw some people... Uh, that you are from a uh, security uh, carrying rifles. When you enter here, there are people that are carrying rifles as well as a shotgun, assault rifles to ensure that there is nothing that happens. And we do understand that while the uh, Guruleni uh, conference was bolstering its own security, in including police, but the hotel itself, uh, the venue, mm. had also, uh, you know, seeked uh, security for themselves to ensure that those that are here for other reasons are certainly protected. So there is a high level of security here. Even behind me, Gareth, as I move out of short, you're seeing uh, this particular phase when they are checking some of those delegates, there is a, an abundance of security inside and outside to ensure that uh, those scenes we saw earlier on when it comes to Friday as well as Saturday is something that is not seen uh, here. So there is a high level of security here. Private security is at the forefront, but police are also on standby in terms of ensuring that this conference continues as they've said from the regional convener.